Hey there everybody, it's Brandon the Weekend Cruiser where I go to weekend sailing just about every weekend and I am fortunate to be on Liberty of the Seas on the March 10th, 2023 sailing. As many of you know, the benefits to the Crown and Anchor Society were updated on March 10th. So that means all sailings that originate on March 10th going forward are gonna take part in these new benefits. So yes, I did not have cookies in my room. I know that is a top question for all of you. The cookies, the welcome aboard gift, they're gone. However, I do have some other amazing things to share with you all, such as the toiletry bag, the tote bag, and the brand new crystal block. So I don't know how I have the luckiest timing in the world, but this is actually a milestone cruise for me. This is my 1,470th cruise point cruise. And so I actually did earn one of the new blocks. I brought one of the old ones too that I'm gonna show you all who aren't familiar. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But first, let's go into the toiletry bag. This is gonna be for anybody that has 175 cruise points or more. You're gonna be able to select this as one of your gifts. So you can see that I've not even opened this up at this point. Sorry for all the rattling. But this is my initial reaction to these things. I just got back from dinner and they were in the room and I'm super excited to make the video. This has a really good feel to it. So I'm trying to open up the toiletry bag. This blue is actually a really good color, by the way. It is a Royal Caribbean color. It's got a leather logo on the front of it. Looks like there's a pouch here on the very front side that you can open. Oh, it's got Crown and Anchors all in the middle of it too that you can see. Um, which is just a really nice, neat touch. Going into the middle section, let me find the zipper. All right, so this first time getting it open. It's a little problematic for me. I'm not good with zippers. And then you've got the inside of the toiletry bag here. You've got a few compartments, so I don't know if you all can see this, but it's got a divider here in the middle and then you're gonna have a little mesh divider here as well. So you can kind of separate out some of your, actually that's not a divider, it just opens up to be even bigger. So if you open it up all the way, again, first time looking at this, so I'm figuring it out with you all, um, it is a really good size inside of here. And this may actually fit my toiletries. You all know that from the room tours, I use a lunchbox that I picked up from a hotel. So this actually is a good height as well. So. The one thing, I always like to stand my things up. This might actually be a great replacement and it's still gonna have the mesh lining here that you can store a couple of things in it. But I do really like the inside of it as well. This is very Royal Caribbean and it is nice, I like it. So let's move on now to the tote bag. So this is gonna be the larger version. It is available at the tier above 175 and I am blanking on what that is at this moment, but this is a packable tote bag. So I'm assuming that it's gonna open up much uh, larger than this. This outside pouch feels like a nylon. Um, so heavy duty zipper, I'll show that to you all. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it out. I guess this is just a storage bag for your packable tote and you can pack it back in there. And then it'll open to a tote size, so a good, size once again. This is the front of the tote bag. You see that it is a really good size. You've got the logo on the right hand side once again or over here on the bottom and you've got the little leather details. I don't know if it's real leather you all. It is a free bag. I'm assuming it's not real leather but it very well could be some version of that. The bag is the same texture as the little um, case here. It's a nylon, very slick. It is extremely lightweight. One thing that, now that I'm a tote aficionado here, but one thing that I like is wider grips on my tote bags. And so this one has good size grips to it. And then on the inside, you're gonna see it's got that crown and anchor logo or emblem coming through once again. So this does open up. It looks like it would carry a good amount of stuff. I've learned that the bottom of these do expand. Guys, this is a really good size tote bag. It's light. You could use this for many things, but I like it. And you're probably gonna see me start carrying my mixers and elixirs onto the ship in something like this. Um, this is really swanky. I do like it. 
Granted, with the amenities, I don't know how many of these I necessarily need because you get one every single cruise. Um, I don't know that I need one of these every weekend that I come out here, but having at least one, I think is a really, really nice touch. Now, let's jump into what everybody is really here for, and that is these crystal blocks. And I'm gonna clear some space so that we can fully see the crystal blocks. So let me start out with the old one. And for those of you that do not have crystal blocks or don't know what these are, this starts at 170 cruise points in the Crown and Anchor Society program. So at 170, you're gonna get your very first block. And after that, it's every 70 cruise points that you're going to get one of these blocks. So people that cruise very often, you have a lot of these because you're getting them literally every 70 points. Um, so in my case, since this is my 1,470th milestone, this is my, I believe it's the 19th block that I have picked up and they're all beautifully displayed at home. I've got to show you all what that looks like in the new spot. But here is the old case. I did bring one of these with me so that you all could see it. It's got a nice little note here on the front that you can see that they give you, which is just a nice little touch to talk about, you know, congratulations on reaching your milestone. And these boxes are hefty. So the old one, this is the old Liberty of the Seas crystal block, and it is elegant. So that is the best word that describes this. And I've seen that in a lot of the comments that the crystal block here is very elegant. It's so one thing that I've not liked about this crystal block though, is if the light's not hitting it just right, you can't really read what's on here. Some people, that doesn't bother. I've even tried getting some um, under lighting for it as well, just to make that better for the ones that I've got. But this is what we did have or were getting on every 70th point after your 170 milestone. But the new one is gonna look much different. So I'm really excited to see what this new one looks like, if it is as elegant. You know, the pictures online, I don't think pictures online ever do things justice sometimes. So I'm very excited to see what we've got in here. And you all are looking at it with me for the first time. So the first thing that I'll notice is this card does not come in the box for this one. But again, same kind of box, nice setup. It's definitely sturdy, it's got padding in there. And let's do the big reveal. So here is the crystal block. So I think that it is different than the pictures. That's my initial reaction to it. And that was Wonder of the Seas. It had different colors on it. I feel like there was a lot more purple in the marketing for the new crystal blocks. But this is what it looks like on the front. Hopefully that reflection of the light's not getting it. Let me pull it back some and I can zoom in and post if I need to. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is not a bad looking block. It's even got a backside to it. So the ship is actually on both sides. So if I show you the back of it and then the front of it, it is the same cruise ship image, just depends on how you look at it. And Liberty of the Seas on it is um, very well visible. You're gonna be able to see this at all times, even in lower lighting, which you could not with the other block. And guys, it does not look bad. I was really worried they were gonna take and put on to the back of it just a you know painted on piece of paper or something of that nature glued on, um, but it is actually instilled inside of it. I don't know if you can see through the middle of this, but that's where it's actually sitting. Um, it is still just as heavy as the other crystal blocks. It is substantial. The color and the imagery is actually better than I thought it was gonna be, and it looks a bit 3D, which is really kind of cool. One of the reasons, and I've thought a lot about why they switched this, because to some people, you know, they probably should have left these alone because we like what we like. But this one, I think, really does show the name of the company more. Oh, and you've got the little logo up here as well. So all of their products are very logo forward this time. You can read it easier. And this, to me, appeals to a little bit different of a market that was getting the old crystal block here that's more elegant. This one is gonna be more family friendly. So when I think of people that are cruising a lot these days with Royal Caribbean, you've got a lot of families that are going and this is gonna really appeal to them a lot more than the other block. And I personally am a huge ship fan, so I actually really do like the extra detail in here and the fact that the ship looks a little bit 3D. So I'm not gonna say that it's gonna fit in perfectly with my crystal blocks that I have now. I think as I get more of these, it'll probably become more problematic. If I have one, I can just put it in the middle of them. But I don't think that it looks that bad. I'm actually excited now to add this to my collection. And I was very skeptical. I was with you all on 
they're changing this. It's a cost redu reduction. They're going to do something that, you know, I'm not going to like. I actually don't mind this change. Um, I think that it looks really good and this has been well executed if they were going to change it. So at the end of the day, I am pleased. All right, everybody, I am super excited. I got this opportunity to share with you what the new amenities are that have come to the Crown and Anchor Society. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you actually like these amenities as well. I know change is not easy for a lot of us, including me, um, but I think that between the tote bags, the toiletry bags, and the new crystal blocks, I think this is something that I can get on board with. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a weekend sailing soon.